It is a little bit like cooking. If you know how to do it, what kind of techniques to use, what kind of ingredients to add, and when to add them, you will prepare a wonderful dinner. But if you don't know, for instance, how to prepare a lamb curry, you might think that you put all the ingredients together at the, at the start and then you start to cook it. And maybe you cook it for 15 minutes and then you serve it. And not everybody will enjoy that because it is not what we usually mean with a lamb curry that will take about one and a half hour and where you have maybe to start to fry the lamb and then you start to add some more ingredients for instance the, the garlic and the ginger and the onions and of course masala. It's the same with theatre. If you don't know how to create the rehearsing process the end result will not be as good as it could be if you know recipes and you know when to put in ingredients at the right time. When you work with theatre you have to think layer on layer because you want to create the end result, you want it to be as good as possible and as deep as possible. It is similar when you are trying to paint, you need to have an undercoat. But before you put the undercoat, you might need to clean the surface. You need to use sandpaper. And then, in the end, you can put the final coat or the glossy coat. But if you start immediately with the glossy coat, the result is that everything will fall off. The same thing with theatre. You have to think layer on layer, otherwise the character and the performance will fall apart in the same way as with the paint. Another mistake you can do is to focus too much on the text, meaning the lines or the dialogue. So you force yourself to learn the lines by heart in a mechanical way instead of focusing first of all on the will of the characters. And the will is decided with the help of the analysis that you have done already before you start to rehearse. The will is the thing that creates actions in the character. And the actions connects directly to the lines and through our memory of the muscles you will easily remember the lines. If you don't know what you want on stage you will not be able to remember the lines. It's simple as that. So a, a blackout is created most of the time through this for, forgetness of the will. You are forgetting what you want or you have not even understood it. So it's the same in life. If you know what you want, the real life, you know how to act and you know probably what to say. It will come natural. Unlike in film production, theory has to think about, already from the beginning, to think about how to create something that is sustainable and organic. Because the actors has to be there on stage, all at the same time, performing, interacting, creating a temple. It is about creating organic life. While in film production, you can do most of the work afterwards. When it comes to the temple, you decide by cutting, and not even all actors need to be at set at, set at the same time. You can make it look like that after, uh, in the after work. Another thing you have to think about, of course, is that it has to be sustainable. The stage production need to be repeated over and over again, but for the characters and the actor, it must 
feels like it's for the first time. And of course, that means also the audience must feel that this is not a mechanical repetition of something that has been worked on long before. So there must be a certain kind of tension that you create already from the beginning. This film will show you some techniques how you create this together with the actors. So the film is about the relation between the director and some techniques and the actors. And we will show you some secrets that is not commonly shown on, on film. And that's why you will sometimes think that this is a bit boring. Because the process itself is not only uh, always challenging and interesting to do. Uh, what you will find when if you start to study theatre, acting and directing uh, on a higher level at university, you will find these techniques again. And the last thing I want to say here is uh, about the relation between the director and the actors. Sometimes I know it's mixed up. The actor chooses to take the lead role or the main character in the play. That means actually he will not be able, he or she will not be able to do the job as a director. Because the director is the one looking from outside of the stage to what is going on. And the activities and techniques, exercises in use has to be seen so that you see that, okay, now we need to do this activity because that will create more depth through the characters or more partner contact. So it's important to separate the spaces. The stage is for the actor and the chair outside of the stage is for the director. And the work of the director is, first of all, to create a good atmosphere where you can be able to trust each other and be able to create as an actor. Because you are a co-creator. It's not up to the director to decide. It's a, like a communication. It's based on interaction. The director can give it a, an idea to an actor or ask a question to the actor. What if you did that? Or what do you think if you thought about this as a character? And then the response will come from the actor who will try to do something interesting from that kind of question or new information. And then the director, again, he has to give some feedback. So first of all, you create an atmosphere where you can create. And then the actor need to listen to the director because he or she is the one watching from outside and is always right. Meaning that the actor can say, but I, 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 really, I really express that sorrow or whatever it is. And the director says, no, 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 I, I couldn't see it. You must trust me. So that's why the trust has to be on both sides. The director also needs to give interesting challenges all the time to make them, uh, the actors, to stand on their toes and, and enjoy achieving something. Even if they are well-educated and experienced actors, they need to have new challenges. Maybe they more than anyone else. And the last thing to think about from the director's point of view is to have a good skill in observing what is happening both between characters but also between the actors and then he or she must be able to describe what did I see and then the last thing how to apply it that mean how can I do this as a director to make the actors do as good as they are possible to, it's possible to do it. Because you want to achieve a good and sustainable performance in the end. And in the end you can't do anything as a director because the actors are 
supposed to wear the costume of the whole performance, so to speak, and you can't do anything as a director, it's too late. So think about this already from the beginning. And now the film is about to begin. Enjoy. Thank you.
This shortened, however, his life. And believe me, he wanted the best for you. You stayed with him. What did he say? How did he manage? His anguish, I can't describe. What did he say about mom then? Nothing. However, after all that I have seen, I will never get married. Are you happy? Yes, yes. When you have got the one you want, then you are happy. Why does your husband leave the first time? He has business meeting. A function. At the restaurant? What are you saying? Do you know? I thought you knew. Oh God, my God. I am sorry. I heard you. Yes, that hurts. Hurts. Oh, I want to die. Why did you not continue the trip? He was worried about the business. He longed to see mom. He cannot be away from her. Really? Did you have a pleasant trip, moreover? Yes, yes. My poor sister. What? You know, mom is curious, and she can use the phone like no one. Stan, I shouldn't spy him. She always does. She probably listens behind the door to this conversation. Who more is there by the way about mom? Thank you. Please stop there. Thank you. Good.
how how would you qualify your relationship with them? My relationship with the lecturers. About the professionalism. That's a weird Friendship. question. Uh, we are very professional as far as I can say. Um, well, it depends who. So I'm closer to some of them. For example, the the colleagues who are in the same department as I am, I'm closer to them. And of course I know all the lecturers as well. I'm asking because among my colleagues, myself, mm -hmm. there have been some issues and I just want to clarify it with your help. Okay, sure then. Mm -hmm. Have you ever like, been close to someone who's not really positive in your life, for your life? I'm afraid I have. How did you manage? How did I manage? Well, you mean that person didn't have a positive influence in my life, relationship-wise? Well, in the beginning, I just tell the person that I don't think you're a good influence on me. I don't think uh, it's worthwhile that we spend time together. So it's better we go our separate ways. Okay. Why do you ask? Mm -hmm. There were some talks in, among the MI students mm -hmm. about some of, well, I won't say, okay. one of the colleagues. Okay. And I was just feeling concerned about you, especially. Oh. Uh, someone might harm you. How you. I don't know what to think. No, it's not. <coughs> It's not that intense, but how to say, um, among your, you have, as you say, been in a relationship where with someone who is not positive, mm -hmm. who doesn't have good intentions. Yes. And but I just wanted to make sure that you have that in mind, even when you're with your colleagues or anyone, especially at MIE. Because I've heard some things, I've seen some things, and okay. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. I think I might know what you're talking about. So, of course, we cannot trust anyone all the time, even those who are close to us. I think now that you've told me about it, and I'm sure it remains confidential, I will be more cautious about who I talk with and what do I talk about. So that's basically what I was wanting to talk about. And yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you're fine. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you. Um, well, I think I have to go for my session. I have to get some food first. OK. I'll be fine. Take care of yourself. So thank you again. And thank you. the session was good. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. father and I 
with more. Maybe that changes now. Did you know your father? A strange question. But I really saw him just through mom's eyes. But you saw that he loved you. Why did he want to break my engagement? Because he thought that your husband was not the support you needed. He was punished for that when mom left him. Was it your husband who made her leave? It was him and me. You should know how it felt to be separated when he wanted to separate me from my fiancé. This, however, shortened his life. <coughs> and believe me, he wanted the best for you. She always does. She probably descends behind the door to this conversation. You always think badly of our woman. And you're always good. How can this be? You know how she is. No, no. I don't want to know. That was something else. You don't want. You have some interest in it. Quiet! I walk in my sleep. I know that. But I do not want to be woken up. Then I would not be able to live. Don't you know we were walking in the sleep? Turned away from each other. 
the one who sympathizes. He always voted with father, and I with mom. Always voted with father, and I with mom. Maybe that changes now. Did you know your father? Maybe that changes now. Did you know your father? A strange question. But I really saw him just through mom's eyes. A strange question. But I really saw him through mom's eyes. But you saw that he loved you. But you saw that he loved you. Why did he want to break my engagement? Why did he want to break my engagement? Because he thought that your husband was not the support you needed. Because he, saw, he thought that your husband was not the support you needed. He was punished for that when one left him. He was punished for that when one left him. Was it your husband that made her leave? Was it your husband that made her leave? It was him and me. You should know how it felt to be separated when he wanted to separate me from my fiancé. It was him and me. You should know how it felt to be separated when he wanted to separate me from my fiancé. This shortened, however, his life. And believe me, he wanted the best for you. He shortened out of his life. And believe me, he wanted the best for you. You stayed with him. How did he manage? Frederick wants to know his sister's state of mind. Are you alone? Yes. Mom is in the kitchen. Where's that, sir? Yara wants Frederick to stay. Sit down, sit down, Frederick. Give me company. Yes, I think we haven't spoken before we turned away from each other. But you saw that he left you. Yara wants to show the father's big mistake. But why did he want to break my engagement? 
because he thought that your husband was not the support you needed. He was punished for that when mom left him. Was it your husband that made her leave? It was him and me. You should know how it felt to be separated when he wanted to separate me from my fiancé. Frederick wants to point out the outcome of her and Axel's actions. This shortened her of his life. And believe me, he wanted the best for you. I want to die. I'm sorry. Why did you not continue the trip? He was worried about the business, he longed to see mom. He cannot be away from her. Really? Did you have a business trip or? Yes, yes. Yes. My poor sister. What? You know, man is curious. And she can use the phone line for her. What's that? I should be inspiring. She always does. She probably really sends behind the door to this conversation. You always think badly of mom. And you're always good. How can this be? You know how she No, is. no, I don't want to know. That was something else. You don't want. You have something to know. Wait! I walk in my sleep. I know. But I do not want to be woken up. Then I will not be able to live. Don't you know we are walking the sleep? Yes. Give me company. I think we have never spoken before. We turned away from each other. There were no sympathies. You've always voted with father, and I with mom. Well, maybe that changes now. 
Did you know your father? What? Did you know your father? What a strange question. I really saw him only through mom's eyes. But you saw that he loved you. But why did he want to break my engagement? And I with mom. Maybe that changes now. Did you know your father? What a strange question. I've always seen him through mom's eyes. But you saw that he loved you. Why did he want to break my engagement then? Because you thought that your husband was not the support you needed. He was punished for that when mom left him. Was it your husband that made that gift? It was him. It was him and me. He should know how it felt to be separated when he was separated from mom. He shortened an hour of his life. And believe me, he wanted the best for you. You stayed with him. How did he manage? His anguish. I can't describe. What did he say about mom then? Nothing. However, after all that I have seen, I will never get married. Yes, yes. When you have the one you love, you're always happy. Why did your husband leave you the first night? Did you enjoy the trip, Marola? Yes, yes, I enjoyed the trip. My poor sister. What? I... <laughs> no, no, not that good, but I just need to... I was feeling this moment. 
I don't see what's the problem. Well, family was supposed to be together. Yes, but you can always come and visit. I think we'll be fine. Maybe. But it's sad. What do you want? I don't want to be for that long. You don't want to leave my room and stay with him. I think that's the best time I stay with him. Okay then. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. All the best. Me too. He paid for that, eventually. Was it your husband that made her leave? It was him and me. But he felt the same when mom left him, just like he wanted to break me with and my fiancé. He saw the short in his life. And believe me, he wanted the best for you. You stayed with him. How did he manage? His anguish. I can't describe. What did he say about him? Nothing. But after all, I've seen I'm never getting married. Okay, thank you. Okay, something has changed, obviously. Yes. It's like I could feel it. Yes. Mom is in the kitchen. Why is Axel? He's in a meeting. Sit. Let's talk. Strange question. I really saw him on the food. Mother's eyes. Well, you know that I loved you. Why did he try to break my engagement then? Because he knew that you were not the support that, that he was not the support that you needed. Well, I could feel for myself over there, like there, there's more power when I'm sitting, yeah. when I, rather than when I see him stand. Mm -hmm. Like, because when he starts to move, sometimes the movement is quite uh, erratic. Yeah. Or yeah. Alex. Yeah. But when I when I was sitting there, it's, it's like I'm more in control. Exactly. That's how I felt. Yeah. It's a good thing. Because I'm that. sitting and watching you, so it wasn't you or you moving. Are you alone? Yes. Mom is in the kitchen. Where is Axel? He is in a meeting. A business meeting. Sit down, Frederick. Keep me company. Yes. I think 
thing we have never spoken before. We turned away from each other. There were no sympathies. You have always flirted with father, and I with mom. Maybe that changes now. Did you know your father? What a strange question. I have always seen him through mom's eyes. But you saw that he loved you. Why did you want to break my engagement? Because he thought that your husband was not the support you needed. He was punished for that when mom left him. Was it your husband that made her leave? It was him and me. But he felt the same when he wanted to break me and my fiancé. This shortened, however, his life. And believe me, he wanted the best for you. You stayed with him. How did he manage? His anguish, I can't describe. How was it? Sorry, I hurt you. Yes, that hurts. It hurts. I don't want to live. Why did you not continue the trip? You wanted to come back for the business. Yeah, come in. <laughs> Sorry for this. I have a little bit of a problem. How can I help you? Hello. Yeah, I'm delivering pizza in this neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. And there is a, a, an order that I have to deliver to one of the neighbors, and it seems to be no one is, no one is at home. So what do I do? What, which name is it? It's which name? Goldstein. Uh, it's just next door. Yeah, but I, I can't get any contact with them. Don't you have a phone number? No, I don't have a phone number, uh, sorry. Because that is my boss having a phone number, so I don't know what to do. I think, can I, I can, can I have maybe a, a lady to you and you can? Yeah, maybe you can. You see if you want to take it. Hmm? You see Frederick if you want to take it. Yeah, you can leave it here and your boss can contact the neighbors, but you can enter check it. Okay, it's trying to assist a little bit. Well, your boss will have to deal with the, with the neighbors so that the transaction is made. I, I do have money if you want Okay, that's good. That is good. That is good. Very good. Thank you. Shall I leave it there? There is no Thank you. And I have left it outside here since it's Okay, I'll take it. Can you arrange for it so there will not be any complaint? Mm, there's no problem. It's all okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Yeah. 
Yes, I think we haven't spoken before. We turned off the way to each other. There were no sympathies. You have always voted with father, and I with mom. Maybe that changes now. Yes, I think we haven't spoken before. We turned away from each other. There were no sympathies. You have always voted with father, and I with mom. Maybe that changes now. Did you know your father? What a strange question. I have always seen him from mom's eyes. But you saw that he left you. Why did you want to break my engagement? Because you thought that your husband was not the support you needed. He was punished for that when mom left him. Was it your husband that made her leave? It was him. And me. But he felt the same when he wanted to break me and my fiance. This, however, shortened his life. And believe me, he wanted the best for you. You stayed with him. How did you manage? His anguish. I can't describe. What did he say about mom? Nothing. But after all I have seen, I never get married. Are you happy? 
Yes, yes. When you have the one that you love, you're always happy. Why did your husband leave the first night? He had a meeting, a business meeting. At the restaurant? What are you saying? Do you know something? I thought you knew. Don't you know we always walk in our sleep? 